Hello everyone, my name is Mariana Lemus and I lead the Muse of Me Too program. And today we're going to talk about Bebi and their functionality. When you become a Meetup leader, you will have access to the dashboard to put your events and do other things regarding the platform. Let's click here. Let's add a chapter as an example. So, to publish your first event, just need to add here, click decided in person or virtual. I'm selecting virtual. And then, you have a form to complete. Make sure to select a good title, description, and no, don't click hidden event. This is only for test event. The schedule and the agenda, make sure to select the right time and day time zone. If you have your speakers ready and your topics, you can create your agenda right away. In this part, scroll down and select either Baby Virtual to host your event directly in here or external. Scroll up and then go to People. You could add here your speaker. Please complete all these fields and then add a picture. It will look good on your website. Add yourself as a moderator as well. You could add a moderator if it's a colleague or friend that who is leading your event as well. He can be added in here. This is the place where you could add your company logo and then RSVP. Make sure to select the numbers of tickets available for an in-person event and for virtual you could select any numbers that you want, 100, 200. Select the wheel and when the tickets will be opened and when the tickets will be end in here. And make sure to select enable waitlist as well. So you're done. You complete your first event draft so you could save as a draft and edit later or publish you have 45 minutes to make any editions before the official invitation comes out let's go to other functionality emails all the baby chapters has automatically emails preset but you could also create your own emails as well Select new emails and select the audience you want to send, be sent. Chapters, people with RSVP. And then complete the content. You can see a preview. You can send you a test, save as a draft or a schedule. To be sent immediately or later. And click schedule. What to do after you complete your event? Events complete. Click the last one. If you host your event on Baby Virtual, the attendees will check in automatically. If you host your event in another platform, you need to come here and manually check in all the attendees. Go to form. In this part, you can see the data from the survey that we sent to all the attendees who went to the event. And it will go information about future topics, how was the event organization, and etc. You can select the time and you can download here. And let's go to write up. If you host your event on Baby Virtual and you record, you will find the recording here. And then you download and go to YouTube as a recommendation and paste here the link. So this is an example of the presentation that you can see. And you can paste your presentation as well. And add pictures, it's fun. And click save. So you finish all the steps related to your events. I'm showing an example. Look this. It says the title, the date, the time, and then you can see the old presentation 
in video that happened that day. A brief description, the speakers, look how well it looks the page with the pictures, with the job title and a little biography of our, each of them. The moderator of the events and the organizers. So you're done. Congratulations and see you later. Thank you.